Xavi straight to work then in his first full day of coach of Barcelona, taking his first training session here. Of course, yesterday he was presented to the fans at the camp now and had some strong sentiments. Ali very critical yesterday of what he had to say. We are Barca, we have to win. We cannot accept defeats or draws. We cannot just win 1-0 in the last minute. You have to be convincing. We'll press high, dominate play through the back, create more chances than the rival. This is the Barca DNA. Sid Lowe is with us to reflect on those quotes. Sid, the point that Ali had a problem with is like, why are you setting the bar that high given the quality of the squad and what you've seen from them certainly so far this season? I think because of an analysis of what's happened so far this season. That's precisely the point. I think there's a, a recognition there that this is a Barcelona team that while there is a reality, and while this is a Barcelona team that is more limited than previous Barcelona teams, that that kind of um, realistic, to use one word, or maybe fatalistic, maybe maybe almost negative approach that Ronald Koeman has had, has actually allowed, I think, to, to it's kind of served as an excuse, if you like, for underperforming. So I think what, what Xavi is doing is trying to re-establish the idea of making demands on players, that it's not enough just to do the minimum. It's not enough just to do this. And this idea that, well, you know, we have to be realistic, Messi's gone, it's not the squad it once was, it doesn't matter anymore. You can't hide behind that. And I think if you look at the overall pattern of, of what Xavi was saying yesterday, the thrust of his argument, it wasn't really about the philosophy as such. It was more about discipline, rules, demands and competing again. Now, we all know Xavi as a philosopher, but yesterday we heard a very pragmatic Xavi. And I think this particular line that Ali has a problem with, I think probably has to be seen within that context, that context of pragmatism that says to players, don't go hiding. Don't go saying, well, you know, the manager said it is what it is. We are who we are. No, no, no. That's not good enough anymore. You go and compete. Uh, you mentioned there discipline and a high demand from Xavi. Now, this is the rules at Barca that he's going to implement. This is according to quite a number of people within the Spanish media. Uh, my players must be 90 minutes early to practice, staff two hours early, players must eat at the training ground, players will be fined for breaking rules, fines will double for repeat offences, curfew 48 hours before a game, meritocracy, travel and off-field habits will be monitored, players prohibited from dangerous activities, players must maintain a good image. How does this go across in a dressing room, Stevie? Is this welcomed about time someone's come in with a heavy hand or immediately are your backs up? Oh, your backs up. But it's, Chav it's Chavi, though. Surely that makes a difference. Oh, they're ridiculous. As a coach, right, the only rules you make are the ones that are, that are steadfast and are very easily followed. You know, footballers, footballers like to be disciplined. They like to be told what to do. Right. But you've got to make sure they know exactly what it is. Because you can't have grey areas. Well, there's not grey area. Come to training grey area. I'll tell you what, don't, no dangerous activity. Right. So have, I, have I got to go and ask the coach if I can go play darts with my mate or something stupid? I mean, this, this nonsense about <laughs> you must eat at the training ground. Right. Well, do you know what? If I'm married with two kids, right, and the wife's expecting a third one, and I don't want to eat, have I got to go and ask the school teacher if I can miss, miss having something to eat? But That's a ridiculous You always talk rule. about Liverpool in the days you were there and what a great team it was. You couldn't wait to get to training and you'd stay there later as well. Right. Isn't he just trying to embody what I'm sure Barcelona were doing as you were doing, to get that kind of spirit together, that family mentality? Well, that's, that's exactly what will happen. Number one, when they get there 90 minutes before the training, which, which will... That's your bonding time. Right. But it's also smart because... You know, you get there, your body gets relaxed, and then you're ready for training. Okay. That's a smart move. That's a sensible move. Right. But try to tell a married man with kids that he has to eat something We're before he goes some home. Lunch. It's some ridiculous. Lunch after training in that nice but, but what am I supposed to do if I don't want to eat? Have I got to go and ask somebody? <laughs> Stevie, it's you. You always want to eat. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Listen, as a coach, <laughs> you have to make things straightforward and make them simple. Right. Don't give them. Don't give them direction that has grey areas. Because when you try and find somebody, his, his idea of what it is and yours will be completely different. It's, you're asking for trouble. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.